Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 for some more action in the IndyCar series. Today we are at the Road America circuit, one of these sort of historic venues on the IndyCar calendar. Over the last couple of days I've been warming up in the Road to Indy categories and now it's time for the main event. So today's race, 22 laps, half of what it is in real life. I think we're going to have to make either one or two pit stops. It depends on the tyre wear because around here, well, it is safe to say a cheese grater, excuse the pun. As you can see, we are starting off with 18 pace isn't too good over a short run but a long run we are much better which is sort of what I set the car up to be um, because this is sort of a long race and we want to try and get it done in as minimal pit spot pit stops as possible so without any further ado we'll jump onto the grid get this thing underway it is a rolling start of course so we're gonna quickly skip through this formation lap okay here we go through the last couple of corners before we get onto the start finish straight I do apologize if there's any stutters in this race I don't know why this track seems to be um, a little bit tough on the system, so I haven't quite guessed the frame rate right or the settings for the right frame rate. But anyway, here we go. IndyCar on our factor two around Road America. Green flag. Green flag. Oh, such a narrow start finish straight. Don't want to go making any crazy moves on that one. Oh, don't pinch me. Oh, no, 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 no. I've locked the rears. Oh my gosh, get back on the track. Oh, looks like there was another incident anyway. Well, we actually gained a spot and all of that, it's alright. Alright, come on. Head down, long straight into one of the slowest corners. Just gonna set that bias a little bit further forward. Cold tyres, that one. Full load of fuel. Got to survive that one here. Big dive bump. Uh, I couldn't pull it off. All right now, the long sweeper. Now, this is where it gets really tricky on. Um... Oh, one's gone off. In terms of the balance, because you, oh geez, checks up. Because you really want that sort of high aero to get you around some of these corners, but then you've got a lot of time spent flat out, sort of not on a straight, in a straight line, but on straights effectively. Just about survived the first lap. All right, back up the hill. Now, I have chucked a little bit more aero on it than what it would seem the AI have, so we're gonna struggle to keep him behind us in the straight line, as you can see. Let's try to keep our eyes ahead, not in the mirror. gained two spots since the start so some progress I guess uh, I really want to try to go around the outside but there's no grip offline you can see the marbles from practice and qualifying and that kink is really hairy I have driven here once in real life and I must admit this track mod is well the mod of this track is very realistic. It's probably more realistic than the iRacing version, to be honest, even though it's not laser scan. Just in terms of some of the curbing and the runoffs, it's really, really good. Oh! Shit! No! Uh, okay, that screwed us up a bit. Went all sorts of bail out there. All I saw was a car sideways and... <laughs> It was either go left or try go right, but I fancied my front wing more than trying to make it around the other way, but... And that screwed us up. We've lost a couple of spots there. Ah! Uh, 
All right, just trying to get some clear space here so I can just run some laps. Looks like we're going to have to make three or uh, two pit stops. I thought I was going to get away with one off of what the fuel was saying. Ooh, big dive bomb. Oh, gone in too deep. Trying to cover it off. Come on, Joseph. Ah. And I'm not driving well so far. We're down to third last. Oh, it's gone off again. <laughs> I swear that's the same guy. I think it's New Garden. Oh, yellow flag ahead. Something's happened in the kink. Uh, maybe not. Oh, oh, car facing the wrong way. Uh, debris everywhere. All right, hopefully that hasn't damaged the front wing. Uh, feels all right. I've got cautions turned off around here. I ran a little test race earlier on in the week just to see if it would work, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, they they didn't like the cautions, the AI, so I had to keep them turned off. But there's a couple of people pitting for damage, so that's going to help us out. I think one's just retired. Let's see what the damage is like. Oh yeah, we've got some damage. See, we're quicker through the corners. It's just down the straights. So we're really struggling. Not to mention, I think we got a little bit of front end damage. It's just going to be slow us down. It's not been a good couple laps. Way too early. I'm trying to figure out the grip levels right now. Oh my jeez. Driving like shit. Seems to have lost front grip after hitting that debris. Yeah, it's just understeering through here. Uh, go away. Concede. Concede the position. Oh my god, man. Yeah, I've definitely done something to this front end. We are terribly slow right now. get this fixed I reckon. How long we got left? Do we have to make our first stop? Two more laps. Ah you twat. Guess the fuel here. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so to lap five, lap six. Alright, first pit stop to get this damage fixed. We are on lap 8, or just about to go on lap 8, so I went lap, one lap further than I probably should have, but just trying to keep with this pack in front of me with that damage was next to impossible. Tire wear's just worn out that left front, something terrible. Oh, that's a long pit lane, jeez. Alright, back out in 17th, 18th. So he gained a couple of spots just by short fueling it. I'm going to struggle to keep this guy behind us on cold tyres. Give it a lap more heat in them than I do. Oh, stay there, good boy. <laughs> So much more speed through that sweeper. It's just see through the straights when we're struggling. Oh, big wreck! Oh, big wreck! Oh, one's on their roof. Oh, the kink has bitten again. Well, it's definitely the biggest wreck, <laughs> wreck we've seen all year. All right, free spot. pitting for damage so that's another free spot I think that's a that's Kanan, he's a lap down. So we're up in the 16th. Forgetting how bumpy this track is. Alright, it's definitely been our quickest lap so far. Oh, it's hot. Right, 
another spot. And we're making inroads here. Up inside the top 10. Second stint's been really good. Now that damage fixed uh, is fixed, we're really starting to make some moves up in the t uh, ninth, and eighth is only just up the road. Someone's died at the kink again. Hey, I really struggle with the kink around here. Ooh, who's that? Oh, they have. They've had a big shunt. As you know, so that's another spot. Top eight. That last corner has to be probably one of the last corners in all of IndyCar. All right, so I'm gonna pit this lap. front is really hurting now. Nope, definitely do not want rain tyres. 13 gallons. Should be set to the finish. Ah, uh, you bastard. Yeah, we've got no tyre left. His fronts are punished to the max. Oh, air wash, yuck. Yeah, see, look at the <laughs> second slower through that corner that time. Hit this lap. Be good to the end. Just try and get a good out lap. And this joint is so bumpy. She reckon I may have gone slightly too stiff in the suspension, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Freaking curb. No, come on. Did not need that at all. I mentioned that pit entry was way too slow. Oh man, it's hot in here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can beat Ericsson out. I've short fueled it again. Come on. Yeah, boys. Got him. We've got Pato Award behind us on fresh tyres. Come on. Gonna get a good exit out of here. Ah, uh, I screwed it up. Alright, might have to save a little bit of fuel to get to the end, but for the most part, I think once the whole pit cycle sort of 
complete should be in a top 10 position. Oh, another wreck. Oh, debris everywhere. And the AI just are shocking through that kink. Lap of the race. That was much better. Uh, who's this? Whoa, hello. That was unexpected. Man, Tony Kanan just needs to retire, dude. I can't remember which race it was. I think it was Texas last year. It was one of the ovals. He was just driving like an absolute madman. But, like, not in the good way. Bro, you're a lap down. Go away. some fuel here. Stuck by this behind this idiot. Uh, it's disgusting as time. Mind you, next guy's 10 seconds ahead. We're not going to catch that up in four, four laps. We'll just save a little bit of fuel here just to make sure we can get to the end. Bruh. No, go away. Your lap down. Peace off. See, I would actually say that's unrealistic in the way like the lap car is trying to fight back, but knowing Tony Kanan in real life, I'd probably say that <laughs> would actually happen. Guys behind us are really starting to catch up though, that is an issue. Alright, well I don't know how, but somehow we've managed to get up inside the top five. I, I can only assume it's because the AI have all, for the most part, done three stops instead of just two. I set the car up to be good on the long run and to sort of be good on the tyres and it, it would seem that by just taking that one extra stop or one less stop I should say it's managed to get us from what was looking like a bare top 10 oh as I say that again screw up bare top 10 into a top 5 finish the guy behind us is a lap down and everyone else is well from there is pretty decent decent distant get it out back So we're just going to cruise here for the last one and a half laps. Hopefully get to the finish. Oh, why does it... Okay, I said cruising. Fucking hell, man. We can't change down to second in this model. It just locks the rears up. Yeah, we are really struggling for tyres to <laughs> get to the end of this one. Even though the car's good on old tyres, it's... Yeah, it's struggling. I mean, this guy's a lap down and he's really starting to piss me off, but we'll just nip up the inside here. Struggling through that sweeper. 
What's up? flat through there anymore. Alright, last lap. Just two more minutes. Just get it to the finish line. Uh, these lap guys having a race in their own right. I feel like just getting out of the way. Okay, we've still got five seconds back to the car behind. Uh, no, no, no. Oh my god, I've done it again. I did. Oh, come on. No, oh, we got no front wing. I knew the tyres were gone, but I didn't think they were that bad. I did the exact same thing in the freaking Indy Lights race yesterday on the final lap. I think I'd learn. Oh, I got no front wing, got no front wing. No. Oh, you absolute imbecile. Oh, the tyres aren't even that bad. Uh, through the kink with no front wing is not easy. Oh, I just can't believe it, man. Two days in a row I've crashed on the last lap. At least this one, I wasn't in the lead. Ah, oh, just laps in concentration. Wheel spun off there. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, around the last corner. Let's just get this thing across the line. No front wing. Uh, well, at least we got a top 10. Should have been a top 5, but uh, two positions not going to make much of a difference. Ooh, and you just managed to get it. Wow! That was a hot one, man. I am sweating. It's been like the hottest week in the UK so far this year. And wow, that was, yeah, that was difficult. But another messy race. I wouldn't say I dr drove that well, but we got a top seven. So I'll definitely take that. So that's two decent results on road courses. I haven't actually won one yet this year. We won the uh, Indy 500 um, on max difficulty. So that was, that was pretty good. But yeah, anyway. Moving on to the next one. I'm not sure where we are next in the IndyCar series, but thanks guys for tuning in. As per usual, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I post recreations of all sorts of different motorsport events from around the world, uh, week in, week out. So yeah, stay tuned for more, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.